Hello and welcome to this lens studio tutorial. In this video, you're going to learn how you can make frame lenses like this on lens studio. All of the resources that I'm using in order to make this lens will be down in the description below. And yeah, let's create. Here's how you can make that lens in lens studio. First, we will learn how to add a frame to this existing preview. To do that, go to Objects, Add New Object, and Screen Image. Next, go into your Resources, Add New Resource, and you can add any frame image that you want. You can find these on websites like pngtree.com, or you can make them on your own. I'm going to use this frame right here. Once you add it, all you have to do is drag and drop it to the texture. Next, I'm going to make this into Fill and Cut. You can see that a frame is added to our screen. This is the simplest way you can add frames in Lens Studio. If you want to add a frame with just a part of the picture, here's what you can do. First, we will add a background image. To do that, go to Objects, Add New Object and Screen Image. Then, go to Textures, click on Default, Add a New Texture, Import File and you can import whatever image you'd like. I'm going to add an image of a notebook page. Click on OK and your image will be added. I'm going to go here and click on fill and cut in stretch modes. You can see now my image is being added to the entire screen. Next, I'm going to move this up so that my other frame is seen as well. To add a part of the camera onto our lens, go to Objects, Add New Object, Screen Image. Once the screen image is added, you need to add a device camera texture. Here, I'm going to add a screen crop texture from the resources panel. Then, drag and drop this into the texture of the screen image. You can see that our face is back. Now. You can change the size of this and add it anywhere onto your screen. You can also go to your screen crop texture and crop it here. I'm going to change the bottom of this to minus 0.5 and the top of this to 0.8 and then change the size of it again. You can also rotate this so that it's on top of your screen. You can also change the order of this so that your frame is on top. The same way, I'm going to duplicate this second screen image. You can do this by clicking on Ctrl D or just clicking, right clicking and then checking the duplicate option. Then move this down, you can rotate it and add this wherever you'd like. You can also change the order of this which I'm going to do. Make sure you name your, name your full screen regions as you go. Now both of these images are the same. What if you want to add this image from your gallery? You can do that as well. To do that, go to your resources panel, click on add new resource and search for media picker. Then select the screen image and drag and drop this media picker into the texture. And you can see that you can add any image that you would like. You can also go to your media picker and then select any of these options that you'd like. I'm going to click on only with faces so that only images with faces can be added. And I'm also going to turn off videos. If you add effects like face retouch or color correction onto the screen, you will not see these effects. To make sure that these effects are added to your screen, go to your scene config 
and change the order of this so that the orthographic camera is above the normal camera. And yeah, now you can see that our effect is added on top of the screen. And yeah, this was how you can make a frame lens in Lens Studio. If you like the tutorial, click here to find more such tutorials. You can also subscribe to me and press that bell icon to never miss another tutorial.